everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Hope everyone's doing wonderful today. We've got a couple of hours of hour and a half, maybe, depending on how things go, because uh, I'm not terribly on time. Um, but we've got some uh, Oxygen Not Included going on today, so that's kind of the plan here. I thought about doing something else, but uh, this is tons of fun. So. We're going to jump in here. For those of you watching after the stream, I do want to remind you that we stream these videos live at twitch.tv slash unexpectedly random. We are here every day, so make sure you follow us on Twitch to join the chaos and check out our streaming schedule for the current lineup. Look at that explosion of emotes. You too can make emotes explode over the uh, broadcast by joining us live. <laughs> Make sure you check out our streaming schedule while you're over there hitting that follow button on Twitch. We also have a Facebook and Instagram. Those are the best places to stay up to date with any changes that may occur pertaining to the streaming schedule. And we have a TikTok and the social media platform formerly known as Twitter if you want to check us out over there. Otherwise, let's get over here and melt some polar ice caps. I mean some uh, frosty biome because that is what is impending. Let's go ahead and get this uh, refreshed real quick so everything is back up to date. Uh, let's see, Zelda Elise, welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking in. Enjoy your stack of pancakes. And Kurhu, thanks for checking in. Welcome to the stream. Enjoy your pancakes as well. I think we are relatively ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and go mesh tiles. And we're not gonna go mesh tiles. That uses too much uh, metal. So we're just going to do ordinary tiles. Over to there, I guess. Priority. Eight. Eight those two. Actually, stop that. Those are supposed to be low priority, so they don't. Connect up. I think. Not 100% sure. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just uh, here pretending I know. I do have a, uh, a spicy connection here. And this connection here is severed. So I don't... Uh... Look at how cold we are. Oh, that's right. I put... Uh cooling stuff in here. Mm. How is our plants? They are suitably pollutably. Greco's are growing. Um, so I need somebody with a critter wrenching skill, and that is Mima. Hey, guess what? You got it. Now, I don't know how I'm supposed to use that. Um, painting and grooming station.
I don't know how I assign somebody, but uh, I guess we're gonna bump that up and we're gonna check what our principles are. Pip egg. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I want that. don't have an oxygen supply over here. Interesting. Oxalate, that might be fun. You probably should have got a uh, oxygen mask before starting on that, but. Uh, Asmodeen, welcome! Uh, no, not building rockets yet. Um, just getting a renewable water resource by harnessing the power of steam, which is also known as trying to melt the polar regions on the, uh, on the map here. That is important, <laughs> especially since I almost ran out of water. And was a little, uh, a little scared for a bit. But I do have better thermal regulation. My generators are quite cold. I have a system in here to help reduce the effects of inadvertently pumping steam water into my reservoir, my aquifer. And I have some Dracos up here doing Draco-y things. I think you are guaranteed a geyser water... Um, guy, um, yeah, <laughs> a water geyser somewhere. Um, so would that be different than a steam vent? I assume. Because right now it's just been steamy and, and more steamy. It is different. Okay. So it's just a matter of finding it. There's uh, something. Ooh, actually. That is a something. I don't know if I've looked at that something yet. Okay. Let's do the secret. Cobalt Volcano. Okay, that's not a something. I've already looked at that before. That sounds incredibly hot, but also free metal. Yes. Cobalt is metal. <laughs> Don't 
really want to play with the slime lung, but that bold amalgam is certainly tempting. There's a bunch of different kinds, but all water. Sweet. Hopefully not polluted. <laughs> but that would be my luck. Slush Geyser is the best one in the game. Is that like a cross between snow and, and water? So it's cold and wet. Polluted water at 14 Fahrenheit. That's, uh, that's, that's cool. <laughs> quite, quite literally. <laughs> okay, so I think our best bet here... <clears throat> Kurhu with the goats! I think our best bet here is to... branch a pipe off of this. Up into there somewhere. And we'll plop one of those bad boys on there. Oh, I can't build it on top of the tile. It's, uh, Cool. Priority. What? Make it a nine. In fact, make it a yellow alert. Because that's never been known to go wrong. Carbon dioxide. Carbon... Carbon dioxide. Carbon carbon. Carbon. Dioxide. I don't know why saying it over and over again is going to make me think I have any better uh, place to put it. Kind of a convoluted. Actually, that's not going to work because I can't bridge over that. I ran into that problem with my plumbing. Okay. Cancel that. Ooh, shiny metal. Your colony is around cycle 450 now. Pretty stable. Need to fix water and a permanent metal refinery. Nice. Yeah, that's, uh, that's just a couple days up there. <laughs> uh, let's see, we have ventilation here that is not ventilationizing. Why are we not ventilationizing?
It's unreachable. Seriously, it's unreachable. It's unacceptable. <laughs> now, make it reachable. I guess we'll put another carbon box up here. Because that's the only simple place to put it right now. Maybe they can. Nope, they cannot. So then that'll let me pipe some of this up there, which isn't good air at all. to have... Oh, okay, that's probably where I went wrong. Scissors, snip. Do that. I don't know what that is. Polluted oxygen. Sure. Why not? This, um, none. That is not moving much of anything. Cool, cool. You know what? Let's uh let's bypass this. going up there. Yeah. Somehow this is better oxygenated down here than this side is. Oh, you dropped sandstone on your head. Cool. Take that out. Still, that's still unreachable. Ha. How is that still unreachable? I did discover that the bottles of liquid chlorine will open themselves if I move them out of the cold area. That was, that was a fun experience. Some semblance of oxygen is moving up, and it will get better in just a moment. Because the oxygen train is entering the station. Choo choo. <laughs> Basically the plan here, and I wonder, do I have a valve, a liquid valve that I can turn on and off, like my liquid switch? Am I off algae for O2? Um, not entirely. 
I have this sublimation guy, which is fueling himself. Um, we are... are we losing? That's somewhere? We might be. Um, but it's fueling itself and it's producing oxygen, which is being pumped out and currently down here, which is part of the reason this whole bottom portion, these are going to be the apartments, uh, why this whole bottom portion is oxygenated. Um, but I do still have some algae friends hanging around, just kind of I guess precautionary, mostly. Um, that's really not a great place for you to go to sleep, Mimo. There's a cheaper way to do the filters. something was melting here but it's somebody uh oh the yeah the the wattage doesn't really bother me at this point um it might if i start running out of combustibles but right now my 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 electrical is pretty stable because I finally kind of got uh, Transformers figured out. So there's only a few places where it overloads some still. <laughs> but for the most part, I think because of my, my coal generation and stuff, I've got plenty of power. I still have no idea what this is, uh, what this actually helps me with, so that's, uh, that's fun. Yay, they can kind of breathe. That's really all we're looking for, is sort of being able to breathe. <laughs> Just, just enough to be able to build the uh, the water storage, so I can start pumping uh, pumping into it. Let's see, liquid valve. Liquid shut off takes power. Makes generators produce more power, but a duplicate has to put some ore in it. Yeah, some, some refined metal. Which I'm currently using for <laughs> various other things. <laughs> oh, there we go. This... Does it use power? You never use it because of the cost. I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm gonna stick this in here just to uh, see that does not require power. So does it just need an automation wire? That might be a very good thing, actually. Wait, why are, why, why are we pumping into here? Oh, because we're linked up here. That's right. 
Gotcha. Cool. Fun stuff. Um, scissors, because everybody cuts their plumbing pipes with scissors. That wasn't exactly where I wanted that. Um, insulated. And scissors and snip. Okay. So, if that's a thermo sensor, and I can do. This is just an ordinary liquid pipe. So this really needs to be on a pipe. And then I need a valve. A liquid shut off. It uses power is the only drawback. Oh, come on, what's the uh what's the polluted water doing here? In fact, clean it all up. It's a seven priority. They should be able to manage that in time. Yeah, that'll be fine. what I noticed when I was pumping this before, yeah, was that these get very hot, which is okay. But I had it piping through just in a basically a continuous loop here, and it was still way too hot to be pumping back into the aquifer. Realistically, storing them in here is probably a bad idea because this is all very hot. So, we are going to bypass this plumbing all together and then we'll just maintain our storage here in the cold area uh, plumbing liquid pipe thermo sensor Ooh, hold on who is what oh Not really a pressing matter, but the leaking, uh, polluted ice is not, uh, pleasant. Non-surprising, but also not pleasant. Thermals.
tape up here that's missing the uh, missing the gold. So, this has warmish water. We can go ahead and get that draining, I suppose. Go ahead and sever that. that up. This one looks like it's full. Yep, it can be disconnected from the gray water and reconnected to the not gray water. And we can work on filling that. That's really actually doing much for us. I think what I want to do is I want to do a, a bridge across here. last five are obsolete, so maybe I should deconstruct that. then with those gone, I really could put another stack of reservoirs here. a long time to deconstruct that. There we go. Why do you not want to build that there? That's kind of weird. Really weird. <laughs> Nice work, that was quick.
Okay, so... sequence that wrong. <laughs> oh well, it's not the end of the world. It's probably just going to get confused there. Okay, so... Did it break because it's frozen? Consider the pipes full of water, spilling water all over. got broken there that wasn't supposed to get broken. Nice.
Okay, so... Maybe what I need to do... Really? And why did that get disconnected? <laughs> There's not, there's not buildings. I don't know, I guess it's radiant all the way through here. So it's the polluted water freezing. I don't even understand where it's coming from. That's... That's the, the strange thing, really. Oh, is it the is it the bottles maybe? Do they get too cold and break? Oh, that may have been bad. Oh, what have you done? because this granite's not going to melt. And I'm hoping that by patching this up, even if heat does get up here and melt this stuff, it's all going to be contained up above anyway.
that's kind of right, except we're dribbling now. Thermia. Yes. So close. Not sure why you're doing that, but, uh, I guess this is probably a case of somebody else was sent to do this first, and now we're just waiting on them to get over here. Okay, now, now that we're sealed up and that can pollute itself, back to work on this. Is that a Dreklet egg? We got ourselves a Dreklet egg. <laughs> we also have a bit of a ventilation issue. <laughs> just happened and why is it happening? Oh, I think that priority got bumped up. Yep, that's not, uh, that's not great.
Interesting. So does does a liquid reservoir not produce a thermal exchange with the surroundings? So that seems like it might be a problem. sure how we got ice up there, but uh, not below it. <laughs> so it's got to be like polluted ice or something that's causing the flooding in here. Because it doesn't seem like the bottles of polluted water are breaking. should do here is actually this fill these up. This will be like a preliminary reservoir, uh, a hot reservoir if you will. And then from there we'll tap into this line which sends it out here. So maybe I need to upgrade all this piping to radiant piping. Maybe not. This pipe is cooling. It might it might just make it faster if I go radiant. The only problem is it requires lots of find metal. Do I have another cold area over here? Or we can go up higher. Oh, nice. We got sanded in.
I don't know if further up is better or if down is better. I assume up is towards space. There's part of me that wants the the cobalt here. So that's obviously not going to be terribly uh, detrimental to my health. Hypothermia, nice work. How's the aquifer looking? Pretty good. It's a little warmish. Oh. I think I know why this is so cold. No, they didn't ever, uh, they didn't put it in there yet. Why is that cold? That produces heat. Brine. That's bizarre, that's basically a freezing in there. There must be ice inside of here. Or maybe not. viable. Hey, I do have a tame, tame, uh, Greco. Nice. Here, can you, uh, can you go in here? Just for a, for a brief couple of, uh, 
trips through the doorway. I know, you're probably not too happy about it, but I'm using you to ventilate the uh, Dracos. I want to I want to cancel the top of those. I want to take those two out to expose them. Nice that this uranium comes with its own natural shielding. A single page of a long printout remains legible. I scan it and add it to my database. Yay, databank. good this will do pumping this up here but there we go as we get that get that oxalate exposed that should help push some of this down
drywall. Iron. Oh, 2,000 kilograms of gold versus 400 of iron. Um, yes. <laughs> So 800, 9, 10, 11, 12, so 20. There we go. Now we'll use the whole the entirety of that setup. some some cold temperatures maybe creeping up here a little bit and that's all cooled off and this is 44 degrees so so it does look as though it cools off in the reservoirs. And with that, we can start plumbing, piping that in, because this is disconnected while we fill up this liquid bank here. perfectly breathable. Good. oxygen in there, but it's probably coming through this airflow tile. It's easy enough to remedy, I think. Should be able to do... Yeah. Um, uh -oh. uh, oxygen... Theodore.
sweet. Uh, dig that up. If I take that and pop it up there, it can uh, get to work on what it's doing. Hot tub is outside of the rec room. Mm. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Deposit. That was a good call going up here. Is it hot again? <laughs> oh, they finally got around to killing the morb.
That is so weird. Yes, go wash your hands before you fight the morgue. Found some iron down there. Nice. Glad you knew that was down there, because I sure didn't. Yeah, I think this whole uh oh come on. I think the rest of these need to be radiant pipes too, so they can Continue cooling down faster. got another uh, neutronium feller. Let's go here. Liquid sulfur geyser. That's not terribly useful. But this is also a neutronium guy. And polluted water vents. Okay. That's probably a good thing to work our way to. And then how about this one? Whispurst. Okay, that's a plant. That's not a... Uh, not a thing. So... I mean, realistically, if we go in here. into the nastiness. Okay, there's our neutronium, so... Ooh, that's probably... Oh, it's, uh... Algae, but it's harmless.
This is becoming an unofficial polluted uh, water reservoir. <laughs> Let's go not that high. One, two, three. Four is the highest they can reach anyway. This one. Ooh, bleach stone. That would explain the uh, gooey stuff there. Oh, that needs dug out. And this all gets. Uh... Oh, that is way too high. <laughs> here instead. Tile there. Take this out. This one was. Liquid sulfur. That's right. Plumbing, not power. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I can get this pump here functional, I can disable these vents. Did get some oxygen up there with that oxalite. Oh, here's another piece of oxalite. I didn't think about that being uh, mined through. So that's going to need to be a tile. Because that's already a very long ladder for things falling down from. Conductive, but <laughs> I think there's there's better options. I'm really hoping that this will produce, and then we'll have a, a polluted water source, which I can tap into our gray water system and just dump down in here. And then we would need to process this part of the stuff. Still pumping that, 100 degrees, 100 degrees, contents of 150 something. Not ideal. Oh, wait, what? Why are we damaged? Damaged? That's weird. The desalinator is still cold. Whoa, what have we got uh, going on here? You messy friends. Why are you spilling slime all over?
35%. Yay! <laughs> Definitely not incubating fast enough. Power wire connected. Oh, I'm one short. How, 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 how smarty is that? all the oxygen. construct this one and then we'll just use this pipeline to pump everything down that. 
So hopefully I can get a platform built for it. There we go. And then we'll max that out. And then we'll get the ox light moved over here. Dracklet box. It's a fun overlay. <laughs> Where am I pumping all my chlorine to? Looks like it's going down into here, which is exactly where it should be going, actually. for now. Plus it's got tons of oxygen, so we can start pumping that over here. Which will also start pumping old oxygen back up to these vents. Do not know why those are cold. I know why this is warm. <laughs> Natural gas geyser. It's only 210 degrees. And you can't reach that. Dreco, sorry, I called it a Dreclet earlier. Mm. I should probably disable this on a very... notice so it looks like we're getting uh, 
fluorine in there and that's not a great thing to have in there. See, the only, the only drawback here is that I don't know how hot this is going to be coming out. The polluted water geyser. I mean, it's right on the edge of a cold zone. So, maybe some decent copper there too. Three digging there. Obsidian. Nice. Oh, cool. Okay, let's try that. I was gonna say that could be, uh, be constructed, but uh, still need to reach the top. This is going to be a very weird. I'll probably actually bring this back over to here. Hold on, we got a gooey. It's not really accomplishing anything to have it there right now anyway, except maybe keeping polluted water from flowing down onto my plants. Okay, now these can be deconstructed. can go
drop the Draco on the floor. Hoping by leaving this bottom one we can get past the geyser, going over top of it, and then this will hopefully block it. It may not. oxygen up there. Might even go as far as to say that the oxygen is not included. <laughs> Really kind of like to put the gas pump up higher.
that too. Because the things that I don't want tend to collect near the top. The hydrogen is going down here, which is good because we need that there. You guys are doing so good. would be unreachable because uh, all uh, all good things are come on you can you can do it gossman you're not even concerned about that because somebody else has been assigned to it really necessary, but okay. Wow. Looks like my oxalate has vaporized. Now we'll get this cleaned out.
we have completely drained the steam vent. Still far from breathable. Okay, so it is faster for him. Good. I thought that might be better for going back and forth than... Let's see who has... Indeed. Oh wait, nope, I guess we're drawing a vacuum. Hmm. Oh good, it's already looking like it's going to be hot. Not sure how you manage that, but uh, cool. <laughs> let some oxygen in, at least until it runs down the ladder.
There we go. That's good. That's a good start, at least. Sadly, I know it's going to end up getting pushed down the thing, but... Yes, it is cold. That's right, Mima came with the uh, special digging skill. Kind of looks like we may be fine here. Buried object discovered. Found a polluted water vent. Yay. 86 degrees. That's actually really, really good. It's not too hot to be able to use. And we can essentially pump it directly into our processing area here. And then we'll have a good non hot water supply. Oh no. Do I have... <laughs> I don't know if I have any uh, level 2 diggers on my second schedule. Or third. Nope, because Mimai and Gossman are on the same sequence. Um... Myra can't dig.
Oh, wait. She's got to uh, level 2. We might as well bump her up to level 3. Upgraded. Oh, it's just very small amounts of oxygen. Seven grams. Should be able to take the obsidian. Oh, Mima's back. Okay, honestly. Oh, let's see if we can get an analysis done on it. Drop the priority down on those. Salinator is there, so I'm gonna have salt water too. Yeah, that's not good. We have awakened the beast. The only drawback is it's freezing cold here, so it may end up freezing up the polluted stuff. 
and that would not be good. My deodorizer is going to stop working soon, I'm sure, because it's underwater. <laughs> and get a liquid pump started in here. Actually, let's do that differently. Let's instead cancel that wire. Run this off of here and then put a switch on it there. Yep, it's already fro freezing. water system. This one. So if we come down here, Tap 
tap into this one, we sever those. And those. And then we tap into here. Actually, what I want to do is do a bridge there. And my reasoning on that is that'll prevent backflow. Okay. Priority. filtration medium. Okay. Hoping the insulated tile here will help keep this protected from freezing up. At least that's my theory. Once we finalize the uh, analysis here, not that I specifically need to finish the analysis, but Coming back to work on the uh, 
analysis there. So what I'll end up doing here is I'll box this in. Oh, I guess that's not actually what I want up there. I want to... but I want to go low priority on those so they don't get done until we get done over here. Sadly, we're going to have to wrap up here pretty soon. We're getting more, at least, breathable oxygen. It's not ideal. Okay, let's, uh... Do something potentially dangerous. Um, speed this up a little. so close. The oxygen's actually doing a lot better too. It's polluted oxygen, but oxygen is oxygen. We're just gonna, we're gonna go high speed until she gets done with this uh, inspection. She's not a shift one, so... Come on! Good job. Awesome. So... Honestly, we can leave all that, uh... That stuff in there. Ooh... Let's go ahead and power, put another switch on here, that'll let me turn off that. this one because this isn't as soon as I break that it's going to to spill oh unless I do hmm yep we can do that let's do another airflow in there and then I can replace that one and we shouldn't have much of any leakage
Is there a bunch of, uh... Metal in here? not look like it, so. As soon as that tile on the left is done, priority nine this one. Perfect. as soon as possible. Oh, I can't... Oh, man. I can't put that switch on there. Oh, yes, I can. That's a separate run from the pump. This one's the pump. Perfect. Lock that door down, and we'll have a polluted water reservoir. It should currently be pumping into this system here. salt water off of there. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, almost forty thousand kilograms of water. We can pump those out here into these pipes, and honestly, I actually think I want to plumbing only. I want to split it back here. Rather than up here because Got uh, two of these are full, and they're full and clean. I may have to get more of these set up in here, or expand this out. I could go this way with that. Okay. Snip, snip, and a snip.
Oh, cool. We got uh, a couple of those made. start collecting polluted ice and getting it pushed over here into these. My intent here with these was hopefully that the polluted ice would essentially melt itself. And then drain out into Polluted reservoir, but it doesn't necessarily seem to be the case. run through here cools it off really quick and then something happens and it isn't cooled off anymore it's kind of neat that the pump's drying a vacuum periodically probably really hard on the pump to be honest And the worst part, I still can't make any plastic. So did one of them hatch and we got a new one? Maybe? Or maybe there's more than one. Oh, they're stacked, I see. 
I honestly, I don't know why I'm still pumping from up here. It's really no longer necessary. So we are, we are circling Brine around, so I need to split that there. Spicy tofu. We're taking it. Munchy crunchy. So... that so we can get some uh, oxygen piped back in there. And 
this is still controllable by this switch, so we're fine there. Still coming in. This one. 93 degrees. Okay. So we are just gonna have to pipe it in here and let it sit for a while and then we can send it over, but it doesn't look like we're struggling for water. Why is the pipe blocked? Oh, because the output's not connected either. cycle that around. The salinator has germs in it. to send this into into here or I can just tap it into this one and plan on dealing with the germs produces. Oh, strike that. It's not, uh, the salt water's not got germs in it. The salt water does have germs in it, but the water in the pipe is not salt water. I hope it'll pass ordinary water through. It seems to be at any rate, so. Yep, that's fine for now. salt water that we gotta process. Not much for oxygen in there. Oh, the Draco is glum. And we are passing some germs in there, but I think we'll be fine.
Okay, we are full here and clean. empty enough. Of salt water that's got to be processed. <laughs> it works. Not ideal, but it works. If I was smart, I would pump the salt water into these, let them die off, and then... But that's going to require a little more planning ahead, and I do not do that well. <laughs> As you can tell by my apartments that are... Incomplete. Oh, I finally got the uh, the Draco released. This area is surprisingly breathable. Look at all that oxygen. Hmm. That I could technically pump out of there and uh dormant. So it's unreliable. <laughs> I thought I had something going there. It was going to melt and pool up there. So, okay, well, that is all the time we have for today. For those of you watching after the stream, I do want to remind you that we stream these videos live at twitch.tv slash unexpectedly random. We are here every day at roughly 7 p.m. Central Time. Make sure you follow us on Twitch to join the chaos and check out our streaming schedule for the current lineup. We also have a Facebook and Instagram. Those are the best places to stay up to date with any changes that may occur pertaining to the streaming schedule. And we have a TikTok and the social media platform formerly known as Twitter if you want to check us out over there. Otherwise, if you're enjoying the content over there on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot and it lets us know what content you guys are enjoying. That's all that I have for this episode. Um, I just noticed that it looks like we've got the... Brian mostly taken care of. I hope you guys had a great time today. We will see you in the next one. Until then, stay random.